12,000 year old dog, an ancient crocodile found in Antarctica, a fully preserved female mammoth found in Siberia, and a crazy doctor that's trying to clone them all. Here are the most incredible things frozen in ice. No before you go! Two map puppies. In 2011, in the village of Tumat, North Russia, on a riverbank, an ancient deposit of bones was found buried in the permafrost. These bones were the remains of a young dog that was discovered to be 12,500 years old. In 2015, just six foot away, a second dog was found, but this one was almost perfectly preserved, between 70 to 80 percent, including the brain. Researchers believe that both dogs were kept as pets or working dogs and were of the same litter. Scientists are searching both dogs for remains of ancient parasites and their intestines for ancient bacteria. Dr. Hwang Woo Suk, a South Korean veterinarian who conducts controversial cloning experiments, has been brought onto the project and has taken samples of the animal's skin, muscles and ear cartilage and has said that he is very excited to be involved. Hwang thinks that the mummified puppy might provide the key to bringing the species back from extinction. Viking Sword Three Norwegian reindeer hunters were very surprised to find an extremely well-preserved Viking sword at the top of a 5,300-foot mountain in southern Norway. What surprised them is that Vikings are not known for their mountaineering skills and that a Viking sword could remain so well-preserved after 1,200 years. After dating the sword, archaeologists returned to the site but found no other artefacts. This led them to believe that the sword belonged to a Viking swordsman from between 850 and 950 AD and that he possibly lost it on the mountain during a blizzard. Then a combination of snow, very cold temperatures and reduced amount of oxygen at the high altitude aided its remarkable preservation. Complete Mammoth in 2013, scientists from Siberian Northeastern Federal University were told about some tusks that were sticking out of the permafrost on Malilaikayovsky Island in northern Siberia. When the scientists visited the site, what they found was incredibly interesting. They found a fully grown mammoth almost completely intact. Three legs and the majority of its head, trunk and body were recovered, and the corpse was so well preserved that they even managed to recover a vial of the mammoth's blood. After studying the remains of the mammoth, it was discovered that she was a female around 50 years old and had died from an attack from wolves and other predators after getting stuck in a peat bog approximately 40,000 years ago. Once again, due to the exceptional preservation of the specimen, Dr. Huang, aka Dr. Clone, was also called in to be part of this project and to attempt to find enough intact DNA to recreate the mammoth's genome. Frozen Crocodile during an expedition to Antarctica in the summer of 2010 to 2011, the Antarctic summer is from October to February, the team reached a site called Graphite Peak. Here they discovered a fossil specimen under the snow that consisted of a skull, limbs and some portions of backbone, although the specimen was not complete. It was enough to know that they had discovered a new species dating back 250 million years. The Artarctonax was a type of archosaur, a distant ancestor of the crocodile, and it was a carnivore. The thing that the scientists found surprising wasn't the discovery that was made, but where the discovery was made. Before this discovery, scientists knew that 250 million years ago, Africa and Antarctica were part of the same landmass, and so they assumed that the wildlife would be similar. However, this discovery and subsequent discoveries have shown them that Antarctica's flora and fauna was in fact unique to Antarctica. So now they've had to rethink about the diversity and expansion of wildlife in this period and answer the question why. Loch Ness Monster Ancestor Paleontologists working in the icy depths of Antarctica have recently uncovered the fossilized remains of the largest elasmosaurid known to man. The creature is 40 foot long, would have weighed about 15 tons, and looks suspiciously like the popular renditions of the mm. Loch Ness Monster. Unlike other elasmosaurids, this reptile was so big that scientists believe it didn't prey on individual animals, but ate lots of smaller ones, similar to the way whales do today. 
The creature is believed to be 70 million years old and was actually discovered in 1989, but due to the inhospitable area and extreme climate, excavation has been a long and gruelling process, which was completed in 2017. 9,000-year-old bison in 2011, some members of the Yukagir tribe in northern Siberia discovered the remains of a steppe bison, an extinct ancestor of the modern-day bison. The finding of a steppe bison carcass itself is not unusual, but this one was the most well-preserved one ever found. Carbon dating told them that it was over 9,000 years old, and judging by the lack of fat around its abdomen, researchers think it died of starvation. The bison was so well preserved that all its organs were still intact, and the researchers were able to get tissue samples from all of them. The brain was also intact, and it is the first step bison brain to have ever been found intact. The brain, heart, and other organs were all removed to be studied and compared to modern day bison, and who knows, maybe our friend Dr. Clone will be called in again. Does Dr. Clone scare you too? Comment below, give us a like, but only if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more.